Good morning from Central Station, where I'm heading on one of the city's favorite day trips by train, the Blue Mountains. Trains from Central usually leave every hour. I recommend the one and only express train of the day, which leaves at 8.48 a.m. The express from Central to the Blue Mountains takes 1 hour 45, with the regular service taking 2 hours. Train fares were $9.31, as both my trains were on peak services. It's $6.51 if you want to go off-peak. The train journey is scenic in its own right, and as you head out of the city you'll start to see the scenery change as you head west right through the spectacular Blue Mountains National Park. We get off the train at the main Blue Mountains town of Katoomba. At the top of the station you'll find options for the hop on hop off tours. You can also jump on a local bus as they do a loop around all the main places. The best and cheapest way though is to walk straight along Katoomba Street. Here you will find all kinds of boutique shops, coffee shops and little restaurants to explore. Follow the signs to Echo Point and you will come to the lookout, perched on the edge of the Blue Mountains. Here you can grab something to eat while enjoying the breathtaking views of the valley. Echo Point Lookout is where you'll find spectacular views of the Blue Mountains and a close-up view of the main attraction, the Three Sisters Rock Formation. You'll also find lots of hiking options, from short walks to day-long hikes. There are also lots of lookouts scattered around. The Three Sisters play an important part in Aboriginal history, and according to legend, were once three beautiful sisters called Meany, Wimla and Gunadu. Usually you can walk out to the Three Sisters, but at the moment it's currently closed. Once you've had enough of hiking, you can continue a little further past Katoomba Falls Lookout or jump on a local bus to Scenic World. Thank you. At Scenic World there are four main options. Scenic Skyway, Railway, Walkway and Cableway. Tickets for Scenic World cost $50 and can be bought online in advance or you can scan the QR code at the entry. To get the Scenic World itself, you will need to take the Scenic Skyway, a cable car with a glass floor that will slowly transport you across a 700 meter ravine, a breathtaking 270 meters above the rainforest. <laughs> Once inside Scenic World, you'll find eateries and a gift shop. Just be warned though, it is quite expensive as there's no other choice. The Scenic Railway is the steepest inclined railway in the world. Once on board, you can choose how dramatic you want the ride before an exciting 415 meter drop to the valley floor.
The original railway was built in the late 19th century to serve the Katoomba coal mine and travels at a maximum speed of 16 km an hour down and up a 52 degree incline. Once down below you'll find the scenic walkway. Here you can explore the sights, flora and fauna from a 3 km long raised boardwalk. The walk between the railway and cableway stations is an easy 10 to 20 minutes. And you might end up seeing more than wildlife and plants along the way. Last stop you can also ride in the scenic cableway, which takes you back out of the rainforest and up to the main building. Both the cableway and the boardwalk are wheelchair accessible. Once on a scenic world, it's time to jump back on the Skyway before the short walk back to the station. The trains back to Central are all law stations and leave every hour. I get on the 4.20pm train, it gets me back to Central at 6.20pm, a good nine and a half hours after I left. Sure, taking a car or a tour might be better and more convenient, but I felt I saw all I needed to see and I had a great day out without needing to plan any tickets in advance. So I think the train is a great alternative. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please remember to like and subscribe. It means a lot. Thanks for watching.